Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make these super fun shirts. It is made from nothing but acrylic paint and a spray bottle and water and your shirts. It's so easy and so fun and you can totally do your own thing with them and put your own personality in them, but they were really fun to make. So if you guys wanna learn how to make these shirts, then just keep on watching. Today we're going to be making the acrylic scrunch method and the acrylic splatter tees. They're really cool. I've never made them before. This will be the first time. So um, what we're going to be using is the apple barrel paint. It is just from Walmart in the craft section. And I'm using an entire one of these. I didn't know how much it would need. But um, I'm using an entire one of these. And then I just got some, well these are just Dollar Tree spray bottles. Um, I did an entire container of this for, in three parts water. So one part paint, three parts water. Did that for the black as well. And um, we're gonna be making those on the tees today. And I'm using Jersey's 21M. They're 100% polyester since I'm doing sublimation, but if you're doing um, screen print or some other type of transfer, then you will just do whatever shirt you want. But that is what we're gonna be doing today. And let's go ahead and get started. What we're gonna do first is the splatter method. So that is just the regular um, splatter. Okay, so for this one, we're going to put um, a foam board in because this is gonna be more of just splatters, just like you would bleach a shirt. This is gonna be splatters of the acrylic all over the shirt. So we're gonna do the front first, let it dry, flip it around, and do the back. And I'll show you guys how this one is gonna look. So I went ahead and sprayed out a couple pumps of the black since it was new. And we're just gonna splatter it all over our shirt in just whatever pattern that you want, depending on your style. But here we go. Okay, so I just kind of splattered it all over the shirt. I'm gonna go set it in the sun, and while we're letting that dry, we're gonna do the scrunch method. So that is what it looks like. Okay, so for this one, it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna scrunch this one up, um, kind of like the bleach tie-dye that you would do. Um, and they say not to overthink this at all because you know overthinking it never does anyone any good. So just take it, and you're gonna tightly scrunch it up. And then first we're gonna do the orange. So you want your spray bottle to be at the, um, the spray, so where it just sprays. Let me make sure I have it on the, I need to go spray some of the excess air out real quick. Okay, so you just spray it all over your shirt. And I have a lot of air in this one, so hoping I can get it worked out. There's so much air in the spray bottle, so I recommend getting a new one. <laughs> okay, as you can see, I saturated it, and now I'm going to open it up and do the black. I really need to wipe that off first. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, now that we have it opened up, we're going to scrunch up all of the orange that we can. And you wanna try and just see the white parts only. Um, so this part can get a little bit tricky, but it's not too hard. Okay, 
Okay, I hit as much of the orange as I could. Now I'm gonna take my black spray paint and I'm just gonna spray um, all over that now. Okay, I had to change out my spray bottle yet again. So just make sure to get new spray bottles when you do this. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the black. That works much better. This one's fairly new, so. Okay, now that is has black on it. So I'm gonna go open it up and let it dry in the sun. The splatter dr dried really fast. So now we're gonna flip this over and just splatter on the back of the shirt. Here is what our orange and black shirt looks like. It looks really cool so far. Hopefully our sublimation design will turn out all right. I kind of went a little overboard on the black, I feel like in the middle, but it looks good. And the thing about these are, is they're all unique and they're all different. They'll never come out the same. So we'll go ahead and let that dry now. Okay, so the front's dry. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around. And as you can see, it did spread a little bit to the back, but we're gonna do the exact same thing to the back that we did in the front. I'm just gonna scrunch it up and then we're gonna spray orange, open it up and then scrunch it up again and then do black. All right, and here's how the back turned out. This one is completely dry. Um, the reason you wanna set it out in the sun is because you want it to heat set. So with this stuff, if you just throw it in the wash, it might like mix together a little bit. So I'm gonna let it sit out in the sun until it's fully dry. Some people put it in the dryer after that to heat set it even more. So I might do that once it's fully dry, just like toss it in the dryer for a little bit, but we'll see what we do. But we're gonna go ahead and let this back dry and then we will be finished with this part. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on a time dry for about 10 minutes and it's on high, so I'm just gonna let it, it was already dry outside, but we wanna just go ahead and heat set it even more just to make sure. Okay, I have my heat press set to 385. Y'all know that if I do, like anytime I'm doing sublimation, I set it to 385 for 60 seconds. I put butcher paper in between both of the shirts, and so um, that protects the ink from bleeding through. Got some butcher paper for the top. And I have my two prints. So on the black, just polka dot one, we're doing the Halloween vibes print. And then I'm doing this um, cute little jack-o'-lantern one on the uh, orange and black one. So I think that'll be really cute. But now we gotta wait for the heat press to heat up and then we will get everything going. everyone so here is how they turned out I love this one I like the black splatters a lot I think it just gives it kind of like a little bit I don't know it just adds something to just plain white so that's how this one turned out super super cute and then here is the orange and black which I love this one as well the only thing like I said I think I added a little too much black in the middle in person you can definitely see the black a lot better because the spray paint or the spray black was a lot, um, I guess dimmer or a lot duller than the sublimation black. So that is how this one turned out. So 
was super cute as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try them on for y'all and show you how they look on. And um, then you can kind of make your mind up which one you like better. Okay, so here is the orange and black. It is a size up from what I normally wear, but I actually like shirts a little bit bigger. Um, but this is this one. I think it's really cute. Okay, and here is the Halloween vibes one. I love this one. I definitely think that I might even consider adding these to the shop. Um, I just really like them. All right guys, so which one did you like the most? Do you like the splatters or did you like the tie-dye look more? I know they're different in their own ways, but which one would you make if you were to make some? I definitely like them both in their own way. Um, I definitely, like I said, if I made this one again, I would just do a little bit less black in the middle, but I still think that it turned out really cute. Um, but let me know down in the comments which one you like the best or if you plan on making these, send me your pictures. I'd love to see them. For wash instructions, they say just wash them like you would any other sublimation shirt, you know, inside out, cold. Um, and they say that they do well. I've never washed these, so I can't tell you. Um, if you're going to wash them, wait a full 24 hours to let the sublimation design kind of rest and then wash them. But they say they do well. Just make sure you do that heat set. That's very important for these shirts. And then they say that they last great. So we'll kind of see how that goes. I'll play around with these and see how they do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.